I work in a form called dub poetry, which basically is a form evolved out of Jamaican culture, out of reggae music. In fact, the great Linton Quincy Johnson is playing tomorrow here in Paris. Um, it's like spoken reggae, but uh, because I live in Canada so long, I've incorporated the influences around me, the more contemporary influences, more cosmopolitan influences. So the real Jamaican talk, not me would talk if I didn't grow up in Jamaica. You all will get it sometime in the poetry because we try and make it so that you can understand it a little bit. All right. So this is about black voice, and um, you know when hip hop came out and um, spoken word, all the arbiters of our culture, would, you know, dumped on it. Um, yeah, there's some really rancid thing around hip hop. Um, but you know that's also as a result of some of the conditioning and some of the fact that we have not heard from that generation in 500 years so we get in it you know as we know with freedom of speech freedom of expression freedom to be who you be you can't you know you can't pick and choose freedom is the thing so it come with the bad the good and the ugly and it's our role to kind of focus it and develop a political context so that um, you know we can help to liberate um, ourselves, so to speak. So I wanted, as somebody who is you know forward in this spoken word dub poetry movement, to be in solidarity with these young people. I mean, most definitely, um, a lot of the youth who grew up in school. Because sometimes they play my stuff in school in Canada and so forth. Um, they say to me, we didn't even understand it all, but we knew here was somebody on our side. So my stance in life is to be on the side of the questioning person. The person will question everything. The person is challenging authority. The person is fighting for liberation. So this is a tribute to Black Voice and how we as a black people have survived. We survived partly because of our oral tradition. So when academia, and I am in academia, want to look down on it or make it small, I have to like fight back because um, it's about communication. I don't know the French language, embarrassingly. Um, I had a deal with somebody that I promised to teach to drive. Um, and would learn French in reciprocation. So I got the short end of the stick, so I'm still in that process. But um, with English language, it's not about communication, it's about hierarchy and social status with all the tenses and the idiosyncrasy around the spelling and so forth. So if somebody say he runs across the street, and he run across the street, there is no communication different. Nobody in the world would say that was different. But the way English is structured, it would immediately ascribe a social class to the person who dropped the S. So it might be that in all imperial languages, I don't know. But I think there should be a movement to um, uniform the English language so that it becomes a tool of communication and not one of um, imperial values and oppression. Anyway, to the people who are out there doing their thing, black voice can't hide. A voice signifies the real, relational, spirit through quests, model dependent breath, a shadows feel, not so real. Operation, imagination, digital, virtual and reality, and virtual reality. Physics dualities beyond convention and reinvention. What does a voice become when it stands, when it stands for something? What does a voice become when it stands, when it stands for something? Questioning and voicing to feel a sense of the real. Poets turning routine into ritual. Resounding some symbols of language into language play. Unraveling the perfect embroidered geometry of the unilateral reality. 
with its intricate layers of who, when, where, and how to feel. The watch shall speak for itself, the poet says. The watch shall speak for itself, the poet says. What does a voice become when it stands, when it stands for something? Voice threading stance and eyes and light pull through the cracks in things that let the light in, Mr. Leonard Cohen. An order against disorder and randomness express in the poet's sound, voice sounding, resounding in the poet's sound, images and eyes and sight, messages meshing through meteoroids as metaphors, Mr. Clifton Jarzeh. So to you, the young poets who stand up and voice crafted vision, sight up lines, set alight energy in words, images, vibes, say what you have to say so you don't burst up to self-define, do walk blind. I say to you, word chatteras, 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 goes the glory, a play forward linking our ancestors' story. Your word sound power, connectivity station, spiritual underground, railroad, vibration, self-determination, navigation. What does a voice becomes when it stands, when it stands for something? What does a voice becomes when it stands, when it stands for something? Only one voice, then two in community, ever exploring the movement worldwide, word, sound, power. Book, your own book, vital and vital, alive with pride. Spoken word, dub poetry, hip hop vibe. Spoken word, dub poetry, hip hop vibe. Black voice can't hide. Black voice can't hide. Black voice can't hide.